Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor. This is my brother. <laughs> Ryan. Um, and welcome back to another one of my Death Battle prediction videos. So, last time we had a good old-fashioned giant robot versus giant robot fight, you know, the Optimus versus Gundam fight, and after that fight, it was officially announced that the next Death Battle, episode 99, is gonna be Daredevil versus Nightwing. So, before we get into this prediction, uh, tell us why you're here, Ryan. Okay, so I re I'm a big fan of both Nightwing and Daredevil. I would say that Nightwing is probably my favorite DC hero, but I also have a lot of respect for Daredevil, and like Hawkeye vs. Green Arrow, I'm just really excited to see how this one turns out. Right, and you know, um, so you're obviously rooting for Nightwing. I'm rooting for Nightwing, yes. Yeah, I'm honestly rooting for Nightwing too. Like, I don't love Nightwing to the extent that uh, that Ryan does, but you know, I, I'm just a huge fan of the whole Batman family and everything like that, and I do have a high respect for Daredevil, just like Ryan, but overall, I still do like Nightwing significantly more, and he's definitely who I'm going to be rooting for in the fight. Um, however, you know, for a Death Battle prediction, we try to leave all that aside, so um, do you want to say who you think is going to win? All right, so I personally think that overall Daredevil is going to win. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, uh, every time I've shown up on this show, I go for the Marvel character, and you know that's just because I typically think they're going to win. And sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. Well, this but is the, this is the third time. This is the third you know, time. you were here for Wolverine versus Raiden, where we both went for Wolverine, got it wrong. Uh, second time was Green Arrow versus Hawkeye, both went for Hawkeye, got it right. And this time we're both going for the Marvel character again. Um, but you know. We do. Ha I think we do have reasoning for it. Yeah, we well, haven't done this the the extent that the research extent that you know Death Battle does, but I we've done some research. But my my favorite characters don't have the best track record on Death Battle. Yeah, you have your Hawkeyes and you have your Venoms, but then you also have Wolverines and Darth Vaders. It's kind of split, but I don't think they have the best track record, and I don't think this is going to help out. I think that Daredevil. I think it's really close, and I think it's going to be a really fun one to watch. But I think that Daredevil has this one. Well, it's a little heartbreaking, you know, just to see your character, you know, one of your favorite characters die. Like, for me, my favorite characters, you know, like characters like uh, Nightcrawler and Beast Boy, you know, they either don't have good opponents or they're not popular enough or they just haven't shown up yet. Um, but, you know, I haven't had those characters on Death Battle yet and I haven't had to see them die. However, Beast Boy and Nightcrawler, they're not overly powerful characters. No. That's the thing. So, you know, they could very well die. Um, regardless, let's just get into the prediction and talk more about why we think they're going to win. Um, I'm going to try to go into as much detail as possible, at least for my predictions. Um, you know, like, in terms of fi the physical stats, I guess that's the best place to start. Um, what do you think about the physical stuff? Um, I think that Nightwing is probably more agile than Daredevil. They're pretty, they're pretty good. They're pretty close in that category. I also heard they have similar strength feats, but I think that Nightwing's probably stronger. I feel like Nightwing has had more, he's been in more situations like Batman where he, where he can prove that he's like almost superhuman, like to the, to the point where he's not really a normal person anymore. See, I, I definitely understand where you're coming from with that. For me, I go a little differently, though it's more or less the same as what you're saying. Um, for me, for both strength and agility, I put them at around the same level. Because again, no matter who has the advantage there, they're very close. Like, mm -hmm. it basically won't have too much of an impact. Like, for strength, they both have very similar feats. Like, Daredevil was once able to throw his baton hard enough to break concrete, and uh, Nightwing was once able to, um, to smash someone's head into the ground to break concrete, which is more badass, I have yes. to admit. But, um, you know, I guess that might just be the bias talking. Um, and then, you know, both of them also have other strength feats, like Nightwing was able to kick someone through a brick wall. Um, Daredevil was able to, uh, like, I think, not not effortlessly, but, you know, without his full, like, a, fairly easily, or maybe that's not even the right word, but he was able to, like, tip over a limo or something. You know, a standard car can weigh, like, 4,000 po 4, pounds, so, you know, that's mm -hmm. pretty impressive even just tipping it. But personally, I think that if Death Bow were to go in super, you know, the kind of detail that they do, I think they would find that Nightwing is just better. I definitely understand that, because, you know, with DC, and they've kind of pointed this out a lot, you know, there's always going to be these ridiculous feats that these characters have. Always. But at the end of the day, what's more important than basic physical stats are the specific advantages and reasons why one character specifically can beat somebody else. And I feel like that's very present in this matchup, because this is almost like another Batman versus Spider-Man. Daredevil has radar sense, similar to Spider-Man's spider sense. He does not rely on sight, so anytime that Nightwing tries to hide 
or anything along the lines of that, it's not gonna work. That's a very big thing, because, like, um, his radar sense, which has even been confirmed by Stan Lee, who created both Spider-Man and Daredevil to be stronger than Spider-Man's spider sense. I feel like... Uh, you know, that's gonna be, that's gonna help a lot. I feel like Stan Lee, though, like, he said that once, as sort of, like, to prove how much he likes Daredevil and how powerful he is. Never really brought it up again. And now he just, maybe, like, I'm, I'm sure that he sees, like, facts and all this stuff, where, like, oh, Stan Lee has said Daredevil's radar sense is better, and maybe he regrets saying well, the thing is, Spider-Man is still faster. That's 100% certain. But, you know, I think it's supposed to... That only might be to make up for the fact that, you know, Daredevil is able to keep up with Spidey, which I'll get into in just a second, Speed. But, yeah. And in terms of agility, you know, this one's very hard, because my brain is telling me that Daredevil should be more agile, because his radar sense literally puts that kind of thing up to, like, superhuman levels. But Nightwing is the best in the DC universe, and the stuff that he's done is beyond ridiculous, too. Mm -hmm. So that... Even in the flying race. Yeah, even, days. yeah, exactly. So, um, it, I just, again, like, there, maybe Nightwing has the advantage, maybe Daredevil does, but it's not going to be too much of an impact, just like strength. Um, the whole Batman family, now that I think about it, isn't all that good at keeping secret entities, at least on paper. You have the richest guy, and you have the <laughs> flying Grayson, they're the one surviving flying Grayson. Yeah. And, Oh, Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Well, again, that's why the very smart people are able to figure that out, mm -hmm. use clues like that. Um, and, you know, even for the reader, you know, that might be fairly obvious. Then again, you already have that predetermined information, so who it knows? As you wouldn't expect, you know, as much like Matt Murdock, the lawyer, True. or Peter Parker, the photographer, to be there. Um, and when it comes to overall superheroes. speed, like, not just agility, when it comes to overall speed, um, you know, just physically, naturally, not including the radar sense, I might even say Nightwing would have the advantage there, because, you know, he fights faster than Batman, he's the best acrobat in the DC Universe, etc., etc. Um, the thing is, though, the radar sense, and if any of you don't know what that is, by the way, it's basically where Nightwing, not Nightwing, Daredevil uses um, his enhanced senses almost giving himself, like, 360-degree awareness of his surroundings, you know, kind of, like, making up... It, it compensates for his sight loss, because he's blind. Um, but the thing is, you know, with that, again, that allows him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spider-Man, mm -hmm. you know, in his fights, um, and that's what, that's what makes him so agile. You know, again, his agility, reflexes, coordination, dexterity, all basically superhuman levels now. And that's, that's going to prove a real challenge for Nightwing, I feel. Even if Nightwing would generally be faster, and even if the Raider Sense doesn't technically make... Make Nightwing a faster character, it means he can react way quicker. Again, keeping up with Spider-Man, who can dodge automatic fire. And technically, both Nightwing and Daredevil have also dodged yeah. and deflect. I think they both deflect uh, automatic fire, too. You have to be, you have to survive bullets if you want to be a comic book character. The point is, though, what I feel is that Nightwing, not Nightwing, I, I'm gonna do this a lot, uh, Daredevil, his, his radar sense gives him an edge. You know, it gives him the edge in terms of, you know, being able to be one step ahead. I feel like he's going to know exactly where it is. It counters his stealth, it counters Nightwing's stealth if he decides to use it, um, and it's just going to allow him to be one step ahead, know exactly where to hit, where he is, and I feel he's just going to land more punches because of that. I honestly do. The radar sense, stronger than Spidey's spider sense, that's going to be, I feel like that's going to give Nightwing honestly, some trouble. I think that if they, if they play the animation or whatever they're going to do, because this might be live action, but whatever they do for the fight... I think that Nightwing is going to have a very clear advantage at the beginning. I think they're really going to play this idea that Nightwing is just probably better physically, and then they're going to um, and and I, then they're going to pull out. I can definitely ball. see that based on the feats that they find, because again, you know, the, the feats that I found are pretty even. But again, you know, with DC, who knows? <laughs> they they do some pretty ridiculous things. It's like how in Batman vs Spider Man, they kind of played the fight out almost as I feel it would go down. Batman has a lot of gadgets and things and things that he would immediately pull out, but Spider Man just doesn't fall to that sort of thing, and then all it takes is yeah. him to get the upper hand for a few seconds, and then... I agree, yes. Yeah. Um, and the reason why it might be live-action, as you brought up, is because apparently this is a collab with Isma Hawk. I, at least I think that's still going on. Um, and that's... That's going to be awesome, I think. You know, we, we haven't had a live-action death battle yet, unless I really missed something. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for that, especially since Marvel vs. DC, that's kind of our thing. Mm -hmm. Really excited. Um, moving on, though, in terms of stuff like durability and stamina, I'm sorry, I gotta give that to Daredevil. I really think Daredevil has the advantages there. Yeah, I don't know about that. I I think that it's really going to be because of 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 his radar sense and the advantage he gets I, out of that. I do think that I really... I think that's going to be the biggest reason. That, may, maybe they're going to pull out some physical things, too, but I think that if he didn't have the radar sense, it would be a much closer battle, but I, I honestly think that that would tip the scale. I definitely understand that radar sense is probably the thing that, you know, Nightwing can't really account for. Again, this is a random encounter, especially, mm -hmm. so... But here's the reasons why I think Daredevil has the advantages in both durability and stamina. 
Um, when it comes to their armors, at least when it comes to the most updated, like, red costume, um, Daredevil's armor is completely bulletproof, completely fireproof, um, completely electric-proof, mm -hmm. uh, and very highly resistant to impact forces, as most armors are. Um, when it comes to Nightwing, though, his armor is specifically less armored, if that makes any sense. He didn't need armor to take a bullet to the head. <laughs> yeah, he, like, like I'm not sure, like, did it actually enter his skull, or, like, I don't know. I don't know. He, he suffered at least the trauma and was able to keep going, at very least, and that's already impressive. Um, but the point is, the point that I'm trying to make is, though, Nightwing's motto, or not really motto, but, like, his philosophy is more, like, move more, get hit less. You know, it's more like, he feels like he doesn't need the armor because he doesn't anticipate it, and he wants to rely more on agility. Which is why it's going to be a really fun match yes. to watch. Um, because, just because Nightwing doesn't attack Daredevil to the same efficiency that maybe he thinks he would, well, that doesn't mean Daredevil can just drop the hammer on him immediately. But he, it's going to be really fun. Here's the problem, though. Usually that works out for Nightwing, because, again, one of the best acrobats in the DC Universe, very, very fast. But because we're dealing with a character like Daredevil who has the radar sense and is most likely going to get the drop on Nightwing multiple times over, I feel like armor's the thing Nightwing would would want in this fight, you know? Perhaps. When, when Daredevil is getting the drop on him, you know, he's not going to be able to dodge him the entire time because of that radar sense. And when it comes down to it, shot for shot, because his armor is is more re resistant to impact forces. Uh, you know, Daredevil's armor is going to eat up more of the more of the force. I feel, and Nightwing is going to be feeling more of it. That's that's honestly what I think. That's honestly how I see it. I could be wrong. Again, this I'm not doing as much research, but that's how I feel. Um, so I do think he definitely has the better armor, and I think that you know that could show. And in terms of stamina, this one isn't nearly as big. And again, this is just based on the sources that I'm getting this stuff from. But not only do I feel that um, Daredevil can exert himself for a longer time, like I think from what I saw, Nightwing is able to exert himself at peak capacity for about an hour, whereas Daredevil is for several hours. That could be wrong, but that's what I got. Um, the, the, other, the other thing, though, is that Daredevil's sense of touch is so enhanced, because, you know, all of his senses are enhanced, which, again, part of the radar sense. His sense of touch is so enhanced that he's actually able to numb or dull his pain receptors, at least for a short time. So that means that for some time, he could maybe, you know, power through Nightwing's attacks as if they weren't happening, which, again, could add to his stamina, at least to a certain degree. Well, I feel like giving, you know, these characters numbers or, like, time limits, like, he can exert himself at this point yeah, like, for an hour is a little bit unreliable, because it's I story get, by story. Yeah. There are times when characters are pushing themselves, you know, quote-unquote, further than they've ever gone before. And, and both of them are able to take, like, exuberant amounts of force and get right back up anyway. This fight is close, but it's not going to last for an hour or several True. hours or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's very close, though. Extremely close. And they both, they're both human. You know, they both mm -hmm. tire. Um, they both die. <laughs> well, only one of them is going to die in three weeks, at least, yeah. But, um, anyway, however, those are the main advantages that I see Daredevil having. There are some advantages that Nightwing has, which are important to bring up. And if some of you, some of you Nightwing fans are like, you know, why aren't you talking about Nightwing? Here it is. Um, Nightwing has the advantage in terms of fighting ability, mm -hmm. definitely. Nightwing isn't as skilled as Batman, but he was trained under Batman, like, I think the longest out of any Robin, and he's very high up there, one of the best in the DC universe. He's been able to fight all the big names, like um, Lady Shiva, Ra's al Ghul, Deathstroke, um, although I think that last one might have been under some certain conditions. Regardless, though, um, that that's... He was Robin for 40 years straight. Yeah. <laughs> Even though Nightwing is supposed to be, like, 21, or at least 21 when he started night being Nightwing. Yeah, these characters do not age. Yeah. well, you, Unless they want to. Unless yeah, you the, can't have... Like, when you cop talk about like characters like Wally West, you can have him aging. Mm -hmm. You don't want Barry Allen to age, you know? No, We're basically Batman the doesn't age, age but... Uh, unless, you know, for, um, can go from Robin Beyond. to Nightwing. Unless you're talking about Batman Beyond, in which well, case yeah. it's supposed to be in the future. Um, and it's gonna be weird when, you know, 2099 hits us, and then Spider-Man is probably still swinging around. Well, I wonder what Death Battle they'll be on by 2099. Who knows? Maybe we get to see damage in one of these. Dude, we'll be 98 by that point. Um, and, and you'll still be doing this. <laughs> Anyway, uh, where was I? Fight fighting skill. Uh, Daredevil is still an extremely um, amazing fighter, and he's fought, you know, he knows many different martial arts, but he's just not to the same level. However, I do feel that Daredevil is able to keep pace with him, for a number of reasons. The first thing is that obviously they, they each have their own martial arts that they fall back on, and for both of them, they both fall back on a lot of the same ones, like especially Eskrima, I think that's how you pronounce it, you know, with their sticks or whatever, their fighting sticks. But it's not even just that, it's also the fact that, you know, Daredevil, he, like, he, both of them, um, specialize in pressure points, but Daredevil actually 
also specializes in nerve strikes. I think one of them is, like, he can temporarily blind his opponent. I'm not sure if Nightwing knows how to do that. Maybe he does. Um, but he's also just, like, who he's fought. He's fought characters like Batman. Uh, <laughs> sorry, no, not Daredevil. He's fought characters like um, uh, Black Panther, Taskmaster, Captain America, Iron Fist, and Spider-Man, whose spider sense already gives him the way of the spider technique, which allows him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with characters, and he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. You must have missed the comic where he fought Batman. Shh. He's actually, that actually, that fight actually happened on my own show, Who, When, and Why, mm -hmm. however long ago. Um, but anyway, that's not important. Um, but the point is, like, you know, Spider-Man, another thing I want to point out is that Spider-Man, you know, his spider sense allows him to, uh, uh, crap. His spider sense allows him to go... Sense. To go, yes, to go toe-toe -to with the most advanced masters of combat, and even though Daredevil isn't quite as fast as Spider-Man, his radar sense is even stronger. So just mm -hmm. imagine, but you I know, feel like the, the coordination sense, he has. I feel like the spider sense is a little bit more specific. Like, even if you want to say that Daredevil's rare sense gives him a better... Well, that's more 360 degree, you know, awareness. Yeah. yeah. But, like, the, when... I, I, I doubt Stan Lee meant to say that Daredevil... that Daredevil's rare sense gives him more advantages than Spider-Man's yeah. rare sense. It just gives him a better awareness of what he's I'd doing. I'd have to agree with because that. Because he's blind. He needs Most that. Most likely, yeah. I'd, I'd probably agree. Spider-Man gives him specific, like, unless, you gotta get out of there yeah, right Unless now. they do some research that completely proves us both wrong, yeah. like, everything. Um, but, yeah. And, and, again, you know, just the fact, you know, if you're able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against characters like Taskmaster and Black Panther, who, let's face it, are, like, on Batman level mm -hmm. in terms of fighting, I think you're at very least able to stand up to Nightwing. Nightwing has the advantage, but I think that just based on what Daredevil's done, he could handle someone of Nightwing's skill. Mm -hmm. um, the other big advantage that Nightwing has is his arsenal. Because Daredevil has his billy club, multi-purpose. You know, he has it as, like, nunchucks. He could use it as a bow staff, as two fighting sticks. But Nightwing also has a multi-purpose bow staff. Mm -hmm. Usually he uses a bow staff or, like, two sticks. Um, but he also has just so much more. He has explosives. He has um, flashbangs, smoke pellets. He's got uh, his wingdings, which, if you guys don't know, is, like, his batarangs. Um, and, you know, a lot of what he has is electrically charged. He, like, I believe his bow staff is electrically charged. His suit, I think, to a certain extent, also has that as well. Um... So, yeah, that makes it more unpredictable. The thing is, though, Daredevil has a lot of counters to these, mm -hmm. which I think some people aren't... More specific advantages. Yeah. It's more important than any strength, speed. And a lot of that is because of the armor. First, oh, no, not even just because of the armor, but also because of the blindness. First of all, flashbangs and smoke pellets. Not gonna work. They're not gonna work on someone who's blind and who doesn't rely on that. Again, he relies on 360-degree awareness. That's not going to affect him in any way. But then it's also the armor. The armor, you know, is, first of all, it's bulletproof. So that makes me think that, you know, no matter how hard he throws those wingdings, they're not gonna, really gonna make a mark. Unless, again, he aims for, like, the open area. Um, and Or unless, you know, Daredevil just dodges it. Again, he can dodge automatic fire, so there's that, too. Um, what else there is? There's also, um... Also, he, he, his main enemy is known for... You know, not missing. Yeah, bullseye. And sometimes he misses. <laughs> well, yeah. He doesn't always do the best in terms of moving targets. Um, but anyway, uh, crap, what else? Um, in terms of the electrical stuff, again, completely electric proof. That kind of takes care of that. Um, his, his suit is even tough enough, you know, again, with the whole fireproof thing, to withstand like a, not, I wouldn't say giant, but like a relatively big explosion. Not like in the center of it, but like he's able to survive around it. So again, unless Daredevil doesn't just dodge the explosives, I think it can hold up against the explosives fairly well. Maybe for a little bit. For a little bit. Not, not, to, the, not to all of it. And again, we don't know how much he's going to be carrying with him. No. This, this, is, this is without prep time, so he might not even have all of these, or Maybe he does. I don't know. I think they're going to give it to him. They're Probably. Gonna have, they're going to have a bunch um, of they're gonna have a Yeah, most of, like, likely. All but again, what, with all those counters, the big thing that's really going to affect Daredevil, I feel, is just the bow staff. And not even the electric parts, like just the bow staff and what he's using, which puts him on a more even playing field with Daredevil in terms of the arsenal. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's going to have any sonic weapons on him. I think, again, that would be more of a prep time thing if he had it, then he would have it. Because I don't think he usually carries that around. But, if he, but even if he does, Daredevil has fought sonic users before. Like Claw, who is the big Sonic user, Sonic weapon user, and he's, you know, he's beaten him, and other, and other characters like that. Um, so it wouldn't guarantee a win, though it would give him a much, much better chance. Again, you know, because he's still highly intelligent. Right. And when it comes to intelligence, this might be the bias talking, I want to say Nightwing is a little more intelligent. I think Nightwing is definitely more intelligent. Um, but again, I, because there's no prep time... Um, it's not going to come. Not going to come into play. Much. I don't think again, like unless he has a sonic weapon, I don't think he's going to be able to take advantage of it. Because again, could you really say if he doesn't have a sonic weapon, could he take advantage of that sound weakness 
every single time. Mm-hmm. I don't think you could. So again, I think Nightwing has the advantage there, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an impact, have too much of an impact. Um, and Daredevil's advantages just matter a little bit more. And Daredevil has a very tiny experience advantage, but again, not going to matter. Because he's 10 years older, I feel. At least, I think Daredevil's like about 31, whereas Nightwing's 21. Or at least he was 21. He's a little older, obviously. And he also just has more experience working alone. As he's been working Where did Daredevil alone, start out, though? I forget. Well, again, they they were both trained by people when they were kids. You know, like, Daredevil was trained mm-hmm. by Stick. Nightwing was trained by Batman. Um, but Daredevil was trained for solo missions from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Wh- which, again, shows. Yes. Um, but, again, I don't think it's going to have too much of an impact. Um, so, yeah, that's really how I laid out. I'm going to give my recap about everything. Maybe you can say what you, like, just, re- ref- like, refer to what you said. For me, even if there are advantages here, I don't think strength, agility, um experience or intelligence is really going to come into play too much. I feel that Nightwing's ex- main advantages are his arsenal and his fighting skill, though I do think that his arsenal, Daredevil, has a lot of counters to the arsenal, and I feel that, you know, he's Nightwing, Daredevil has shown aptitude, you know, he's shown his fighting skill that he could stand up to Nightwing. And I feel that Daredevil's main advantages are his armor, which again counters a lot of stuff, his... um his stamina, and his radar sense, which, again, you know, gives him more speed, gives him a counter stealth, gives him more, you know, it allows him to know exactly where he is. I think it just allows him to control the pace of the battle. That's the main reason. I think the radar sense is something that without prep time, Nightwing can't really get around. And I think that's really going to be the key to Daredevil's victory, but that's just me. So I think that we're going to get another Batman versus Spider-Man. You think so? This one. I think that the fight is going to look really cool. But this I, one is very close. Don't get us that, wrong. Very I, close. I think that, um, you know, Wizard and Mimstick are going to have to really go in depth in why the character wins. And by the end of it, I think that my preferred character is going to lose... But it's gonna feel it's gonna feel right. It's gonna feel like it makes sense. And my pref- it's my preferred character too. But I'm not gonna pretend like it's gonna hit me as much. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, that's gonna suck. And you know, if Dare, I mean, if Nightwing wins, awesome. It's gonna that, that's gonna be cool. But they're gonna have to have prove a good us ex- wrong. Yeah. It's gonna have gonna have to have a good explanation. There are other fights well, where I feel like relatively. Well, if this, it's if still this character still wins, fight. they better they better justify it because you know I really have it's still in my a very mind close it. fight. And if you guys have any reasoning for why you think that Nightwing would win that we didn't really bring up, please tell me down in the comments below. And if you think Daredevil would win, again, tell us down in the comments below. I, I'd love to hear it. I'm sure you'd love to hear it too. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I guess that's really the video for it. That's our prediction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave down what you think in the comments below. Um, but no matter what you do, your view is plenty of contribution. Thanks for checking it out. And yeah, that's it. We both think Daredevil's gonna win. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait three weeks for what happens. So we will see all of you guys, in, or I will see all of you guys in the next video. Peace out.